Hello, everyone. Well, we've made it to Saskatchewan. We're almost at Uncle Mike's farm now, only a couple of minutes away. We're going to be here for a day or so. Going to help out around the farm for Uncle Mike, do a bit for him. Um, Max is desperate to get out the truck, he needs a run. Um, but yeah, what a beautiful place. Look at this. There's fields as far as the eye can see. There's his farm there. Well, welcome to Evergreen, everyone. Just look at it. I mean, look. Everything you see over there. One field. It's almost as big as my entire town. Hey, up, oh, aeroplane. Same over there. Everything you see. One field. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, it's like he's out in the fields already. Three combines. Much bigger than what I'm being used to. What a view. Oh, that must take a few hours to get that field cleared. Goodness me. Wow. <laughs> Here we are. Uncle Mike's farm. Wow. Well, Uncle Mike saw me pull into the yard, got straight onto the phone, and said, jump in that combine over there and clear me a strip in front of the yard for the truck to pull onto. So, I mean, what, after an 11 hour drive, what better way to break the day in than jump in a combine? So, get to it. I assume he means that big green one over there. I mean, wow, just look at this, though. You're going to hear a lot of this from me, I'm afraid. Lots of wows, wows, and amazements, because the size of this equipment, look at them, compared to what I've been used to over the years. Oof. I suppose that must be the combine shed, because there's no... Oh, well, there's one there. Oh, oh, well, we'll have a look at that later. He wants to be jumping the comp in, in this one. How many's he got? I saw three in the field. There's one. There's another. So he's got... Goodness me. Oh. Anyway, come on. Stop dribbling at all these wonderful machines. Wow, is that... That's... It's an X9. Oh, my word. Go from my knackered old board class dominator to this. Wow. And a honeybee. Goodness me. Wow, this is going to be fun. Well, give me a few minutes. Let me just jump in here and figure out what I'm doing. And I'll put the camera back on in a few minutes. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I think this is the 50 footer uh, honeybee to the 250. So that makes that pretty much twice what I've been used to in the old uh, in the old Ford. But what a place to be, look at this. All the screens and the joystick and... I mean, wow. Anyway, it needs me to get out there, so... Give me a few minutes again, let me get this thing out of the yard and I'll, uh, I'll put the camera back on again. Well, out we go. This is daunting. Driving, for driving along with a 50 foot header on he's told me not to worry, he doesn't usually bother with uh, header trailers out here because um, with the fields being so close and the roads being so quiet um, he just throws them out there but, right here we are, he wants me to he wants me to drop down here and clear a path so let's give it a go What's he doing? Is he waiting for me up there? He stopped for a break. I 
but yeah, he uses this area in front of the front of the yard here. He runs his big one of his big trucks in, so the grain cart can load into it. So we'll clear this big patch. This is amazing to drive. Wow! <laughs> big farming, everyone. Well, for my first go in a truly modern combine harvester, I'm quite chuffed with that. Only a little patch. Looks alright though. But yeah, this is amazing. This is just incredible. But yeah, they have all they've stopped for a cup of tea. So I'll go and join them and say hello when I finish this bit. Patch cleared. What a view. What a beautiful morning. This is amazing. It's a different world to me, isn't it, this? Well, they've all started back up again. He's told me to go and get the... Uh, Take the X9 back to the yard and jump in the, the big blue... He's got a big blue truck. Got to find that somewhere. Uh, and stick it in the field. And then go and get a grain cart. And run grain cart for a few hours. So, what a great start to the day this is. Well, found the blue truck. I assume that's the one he means. What a rig. What is it? W990 Kenworth. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let's jump in this. Wow. Check that out. You could live in here. You've got a massive telly. Anyway, right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this thing unloaded. See how good I am at aiming for an order with a 40 foot wagon. Are we there? No idea. Oh, look at that. There we are. Perfect. I think I'd done this before, wouldn't you? Let's wait for this thing to unload. We'll stick it back where I found it. Right, auger in. Come on, there you are. Right, let's stick this beast back where we found it. You can barely see where you're going through this thing. I'm just going to keep it in the middle of the yard as much as I can. Oop, careful. Where are we? Where am I going? Yeah, we found it over here, so we'll stick it back over here. about here. We'll lower that header down though. There we go. Job job. What a thing. What a thing. Right, anyway. Get back in this wagon and get it in the field. Look at the size of that. What is that? A cultivator? Mandaco Storm. What a beast. Oh, left the engine running. Gonna be wasting fuel. Hey, up, I better hurry up. There's one with his auger out, and he's emptying. Oh, look, they both do. I'm coming, I'm coming. Never driven something this big anymore. Hey up. Grass verge. Well, here we go. Hey 
I'm coming, I'm coming. I better give him a call. Just tell him I'm on my way. Give a bit of room either side as we'll stick it uh, we'll stick it up here. Perfect. There we go. Just pulled the canvas back. So let's go and get us a grain cart. Well, that definitely looks like a grain cart. I assume the keys are in it. Wow, it's huge. Ah, and he's got the Canadian flag painted down the side. Of course he has. What a thing, though. Wow, you've been busy. What's this one? 1167. Wow, but this has got some oomph. Right, let's get in it and get on loading. Right, back we go. Gently does it. Gently does it. Get in the field. All right, here we go. Let's get this big thing unloaded. Oh, hang on. I better, uh, better pull the tarp back. At least I don't have to get out and do it by hand. Come okay, on. There we go. Alright, let's get this thing positioned as well as I can, considering I've never done this before in something quite so big. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, it's even got a digital counter on it. I'll grab them two next. Right, he's off again. Now for the next ones. I think we can get straight under this one on the right, but the one on the left is going to have to. Uh, he's going to have to pull back and uh, so I can get underneath him without flattening the crop. So this will take a few minutes, I reckon. This is brilliant. Well, that's that one done. He's going to have to wait a minute, I'm afraid, because I'm full up. I have to go and uh, tip this in the truck. But thankfully, he's created a path for me, so I can just drive right up to him when I get back. So. Let's go stick this lot in the truck. I'm still just amazed at the size of this place. Just look at it as far as the eye can see. Durham wheat. Durham wheat. <laughs> Let's, uh, never done this before either. Loaded from auger to truck. Oh, hang on. Better pull the pipe out, wouldn't I? Which, there we go. That's a big thing, isn't it? Right. Nice to level with this. Oh, there we go. First time. I think this trail is made up of two parts, so I might have to shuffle these forward in a few. In fact, let's just even it out a bit. Oh, and I've got the digital meter, haven't I? So, tell how, uh, how empty I am, or full. Next bit. 
There we are. Back to my first time, if I'm honest. This is mega. I could get used to this. There we are. Empty. I better not try and fold that though while we're next to the truck. I don't want to damage his wagon. But let's pull forward. Go straight for that next red one. Where are we? There we go. I've still got a little bit in. I suppose that is that truck full now? Find out in a minute. Right. Let's get for that one. Oh. Missed a bit. Wow, well, now the Lexian's full. Right. We've got this red one. And then we'll get to the Lexian. Yep. There are we. Oh, look at that. Is that plane again? go. Another one done. Right. Let's go empty that Lexin. Although, hang on a minute, he's going to need to pull back and all. We'll have to wait for we'll have to wait for this case to get past him and then he's, he'll have the room to pull back and right a bit so I can get under his pipe. So I'm just going to enjoy this view for a minute. Check it out. Wow, that's got a... I've only just realised that's got a honeybee as well. Have they all got honeybees? I think they have. He's spent some money here, hasn't he? OK, let's get under this one. It's a nice looking thing as well, isn't it? Ah, oh, 8900 Lexian. Nice. Yep, yeah, and another honeybee. Wow. How much does this grain cart hold? I can't be far off being full again. For the trip back to the truck. There we go. He's on his merry way. I just can't get enough of these views. Look at that. Sunrise. Combine. Perfect. Are you going to stick it? No, no, no. What are you doing? Right. This one's almost full as well, so we'll go and uh, we'll get this into the uh, into the wagon. Although I think that needs emptying first. I better go do that as well. And the other two red ones need emptying. I think we're going to be here for a while. Well, I reckon as exciting and as picturesque as this all is, there's clearly quite a lot to do here, so I'm going to pop the camera down and you will join me again when we stop for a breather. See you in a bit.
Oof. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a harvest. 125 and a half acres, 65 and a half thousand bushels of Durham wheat later, and that's one field done. <laughs> As you know, we started with the three combines running two grain carts and one of the trucks. And we finished off with two trucks, four grain carts and the three combines. Six and a half hours later. Hey up, Max. Better get you a drink of water, Anna, mate. Wow. I am knackered. <laughs> but before we go in for lunch, um, I just wanted to show you my two new toys. Um, Uncle Mike's done me a, a real favour here. He's let me have both of these for, for well, he said 30 grand for the pair of them. Um, neither of them work. Um, this one is completely dead. It has evacuated itself of all of its oil. Um, what's what else? It doesn't actually start. What's what's wrong with it? Hang on. There's a list inside actually. Hang on. Where are we? Yeah, down here. What was it? It's got two bent slats in the feeder house. The feeder house drive chain has snapped, so that needs replacing. The chopper knives need replacing. The chaffer and sieves need coming out and cleaning out. And as I said, it's got a, comp a major oil leak. Um, so it needs the engine going through um, but yeah something of a deal um, so what I plan on doing I'm sending my lad down back down here who's uh, he's taking my two tractors up to Edgewater he's coming back here with my truck and low loader he's going to do two trips for me he's going to take this and that up to up to my new place um, now this as well the, I've already got one new Holland and now I've got two 98, 82 uh, this is another beast with a Cummins diesel engine, uh, an N14, but I think this is a, a little bit newer than the one my granddad managed to squeeze into that farm hall. Um, this it does start now and again when it feels like it. Let's have a look. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, and it's off again. No. Um, we think it's got a bad earth, possibly needs a new alternator, um, and the turbo's blown. So this needs a bit of work doing to it as well. But uh, but yeah, Uncle Mike's been very kind in, in letting me have these for an extremely reasonable price. So these are coming with me to Edgewater. I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna have to send them straight to a workshop off scene, get them gone through from top to bottom, get them working again. Um, but even what I have to spend on them to get them to work, it's still, plus what I pay for them, it's, it's, I'm still getting them for a, a, a very good price. I'm, I'm, really chuffed with that so thank you uncle mike um yeah so anyway i'm gonna go and grab a bite to eat uh, and then we'll have a wander around the yard and i'll just show you well I'll just have a bit of a wander around and that'll stop my jaw from falling onto the floor eh? looking at all these crazy machines um but yeah back in a minute well that's me fed and watered for a bit for a bit now hey max how you doing pal okay yeah little buddy Let's go have a look around Uncle Mike's workshop, shall we? Now this is a new thing. Uh, you see, this this was literally delivered a couple of days ago. Uh, 620 Stiger case. What a thing! Brand new. Not a single hour of work, and not a single speck of dirt either. What a thing! Um, yeah, he's got a really nice workshop, hasn't he? Nice little workbench area here for inevitably fixing things when they break. What's this? Uh, uh, 4045 John Deere crop sprayer. No surprise to see such a big, uh, big crop sprayer on this farm, considering the size of the field. Uh, what else we've we seen? Yeah, we've got his. Uh, we've, we've seen the fence already, haven't we? Two of these 1167s. These two Demco grain carts. Had the pleasure of lugging one of these around this morning. Yeah, you up, buddy. Really? Climb over the tractors, are you, mate? 9570 RT, John Deere, very nice. And an 8R410. These have been busy this morning, I tell you. As are these. Now, oh, yeah, he said he, he bought he bought the Steiger and these two harvesters at the same time. So these, up until this morning, were brand new. Wouldn't think it to look at them now, would you? 9250s, again, both numbered, one and two. Very nice. 
He's had this for a couple of years, I think, the class. 8900 Lexion. Hell of a bit of kit. And he did, uh, as, I, as I said, he's, he, take, he took delivery of these five Honeybee Airflex headers, all with the Crowry wind system on. Beautiful things, aren't they? They're massive. We've seen that, the Mendeco Storm. It's got this, uh, this John Deere disc harrow. And the X9. I had the pleasure of a go in that this morning. Um, yeah. What's we got here? Crone Baylor. That's massive. Goodness me, that's about four times the size of the old baler I had back in Wyoming. Two John Deere ploughs, of course. What are these? 24 tens. Two of them. <laughs> Gigantic. But you need them with a farm like this, don't you? We've spotted this thing before. Let's go and have a look at this. Wow. Big Fent Ideal. NT. No idea what that means. What a thing though, look at that. Looks like Batman's Combine. Oh, and it's one of these without a steering wheel. Check this out. Yeah. Joystick. Wow, this is modern stuff, isn't it? This is beautiful. What a place to be. Anyway. No, I didn't have that out this morning. What a thing. When he does like a custom uh, license plate, his uncle Mike. Ideal 10T. Yeah, I think all of his machines have got custom license plates, to be honest. What have we got in here? Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, heck, he's got another one. Is that the same thing? Yeah, another 4045. Huh. Well, fair enough. Jeez, look at the size of these. These are incredible. What's this? Borgolt. Saddle tank. Goodness me. Look at the size of that. Wow. Versatile. Didn't get to see many of those things at, uh, back in Wyoming. Look at that. Again, custom license plate Delta 620. Wow. Oh, that's a weapon, isn't it? 9620R. Wow, it needs some grunt to drag some drag these things behind, don't doesn't it? Look at the size of it. Wonder how wide that is when it's all folded out. And that. Goodness me, there's some money there, isn't there? It's a different world to what I've been used to. Look at that. Hey up, flashing light. Tell him about that. That's incredible. Next level farming this, isn't it? Wow. Well, let's, uh, we need to go and give me, give me truck driver a ring, see what time he's gonna land. And then what we need to do, I think I'm gonna send the Combine up first, up to Edgewater, and then I'll go on the first trip, and then he's going to come back for the for the 9882. Um, as I say, they're both going to be going straight to a workshop. They're not going to go straight to the farm because, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with him, am I? Um, so yeah, I'll give him a call, see what time he's landing. Um, we'll make a plan from there. Right, it's a few hours later now. I think it's just before five o'clock. Um, I've just spoke to my driver on the phone, he should be here any minute actually. Um, and what I think we're going to do, we are going to use one of Uncle Mike's tractors, one of the tracked ones, we're going to, to literally drag the combine over the back of the uh, the low loader, onto the back of it, So because um, it doesn't move, it's got no oil, it doesn't start. Um, so yeah, I think that's, it seems like the only plan we've got, we've got a big length of, uh, of pretty strong rope. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the idea. So I think we'll lay the. Here he is. There you go. There's my truck. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll 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 set the low loader down here, so we haven't got to uh, move the move the 
the harvester any further than we need to. Uh, and we'll get to it and see if we can get it loaded onto the back. Let's see how this plan works out. Well, that was easy. We just uh, we towed the harvester backwards over here and strapped the rope to the front of it and dragged it onto the trailer. Couldn't have been easier. Well, I think we'll get him on his way because I think he's going to. Uh, he's got enough hours left on his on his day today. He's going to get up to Edgewater and he's going to kip in the wagon overnight and come back tomorrow for the New Holland. So we'll uh, let's get him on his way. Well, there we go. That's him on his way. I am so excited to get that harvester up and running. You've got no idea. My new toy. <laughs> well, yeah. That's him on the road. He's coming back tomorrow morning to pick up the New Holland. Um, but I think, I think I'm going to call it that for, for, for today. Um, yeah, Matt's going to go and get some dinner now and then we'll, we'll put our feet up for a couple of hours and then tomorrow morning we're going to hit the road and, uh, and finish off the last few hours of our journey up to Edgewater so thank you very much for watching um, and you'll see me again knocking on the door of Edgewater take care